Hey guys, Tim here from Canada Tech TV. Today we are taking a look at the CL760 projector I've got here. So we're going to do a quick unboxing of this and then we're going to take a look and see how it looks and throw it up on the wall. So stay tuned, that is coming up. Hey guys, welcome to Canada Tech TV. If it's your first time here, I do weekly tech videos here on my channel. So I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down there below. But yeah guys, let's get into it here. So. We're going to unbox this. I'll show you quickly what is in here and then we're going to throw it up on the wall like I said. All right, so first off, first thing you're going to get is the CL760 user manual right there. Over to the left, so you've got your charging cable right there. So they give you a lens cleaning cloth there to keep the lens clean on the projector. We've got a remote that looks pretty decent as well. AV cable. And then we've got a couple extra like support stands here for the base. All right, so then the next thing is the actual projector in here in the main compartment. All right, so we'll take the styrofoam off. All right, so there we go. So you can see this model here, It's this company is B-Nest. So this is the CL760. So on the front here, this actually is a retractable window to cover your lens there. So it's nice because that'll keep your lens clean, keep dust off it. Also, when you kind of want to like walk through it or something or through its path, you can close it up and not get blinded by the light. Over on the right side here, kind of just got like ventilation there and stuff. Uh, on the back, this is where all of your connectors are gonna be. So starting off over here on the left side, you've got your two USB connectors. You've got also then two HDMI connectors, VGA, you got your audio in or headphone jack there. So that's cool because you can use that with a aux cable and hook that up to speakers. And then you've got over here the AV input. And then you've got an IR sensor there, kind of the red little dot you see. So that's what will allow the remote to work with this. Flipping it over and just looking at the top here. Again, you got another IR sensor right there. Power button. You've got your source button to flip through that menu and then you've kind of got your navigation options here so then also on the back here you've just got this is where your power cable is going to go you can see then right up here in the top corner you've got your keystone wheel so that just goes back and forth to help shift the picture and then you've got your focus wheel right here and that'll allow you to focus the picture depending on how far back you've got it. So, so the picture size on this will actually be determined by your distance away from your, your wall, kind of the projection source, which is the projector, and then what you're projecting at. The further away you've got this, the bigger the picture is going to be. And then you're going to use your focus wheel then and your keystone to kind of correct for kind of your height and then for how far back you are to focus it in, really dial in your picture. All right guys, well let's go check this out. We'll throw it up on the wall and see what it looks like. All right guys, so as you can see here, my setup is pretty basic. I've got the CL760 here set up on a projector tripod and uh, got a little stand for it that it's kind of sitting on. And then you can see here, I've got in that background, regular projector screen up on the wall there. I'll put that link down there below as well if you're interested in that. It does help a little bit if you can tell I have some kind of beige or like yellowish walls. So having that white projector screen does help a little bit with the colors. So you'll see here kind of once you turn it on, the buttons will become illuminated. All right, so it is turning on. As you see, I have to do a little bit of adjusting of the screen. This is what you're gonna use the keystone for. You can kind of see how the keystone is gonna tilt it back and forth here. So I'm gonna do the keystone to make it nice and level. And then we just need to prop it up a little bit higher here. So you can do that either with the projector where you can sometimes put something underneath it, kind of like a book or magazine or something. So I'm gonna do that now. So that isn't lined up there perfectly, but that's pretty good there in my opinion. Then what we gotta do is just kind of tilt the focus here and kind of get that dialed in. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, here's what the fans kind of sound like if I put the mic right up next to it a little bit. So those fans really aren't terrible. You can kind of hear it here a little bit, but Compared to some of the other projectors I've tried out in that, this really isn't that bad, especially if you hook up your own external speakers by that mic input there. Uh, that'll definitely, definitely help improve your sound quality and kind of raise it above the level of those fans in there. So what I'm gonna do now is actually hook up my Roku here by HDMI. So I just have to plug this into the same extension cable that I got the projector in, and then the HDMI is going right into the projector and then we'll be able to stream the Roku through there and I'll give you some examples. All right, so here's what we're working with. We're between like 10 to 15 feet away right here now. So I'm gonna go to the main menu here. 
of the Roku. All right, so here's the main Roku menu. You can kind of see, get a little bit of a feel for that quality. So like I said, this is eight, basically 800p. Um, so if we go over to like Netflix here. All right, so here is the Netflix interface. So you can kind of see, you know, based on some of the quality here and everything, what it kind of looks like. But yeah, it looks, looks pretty nice. So we'll try to avoid some copyright strikes here. We're going to head over to YouTube, and I'll kind of show you there what, what a YouTube video is going to look like. We'll listen to the sound quality here a little bit. So here we go. But I'm, I'm very, very happy with this, this resolution here. So you see some of this stuff here. So let's see. So uh, we'll go to something on my channel here. We'll try out. All right, so here we go. So this is my channel here. All right, so let's let's click on, we'll click on this Galaxy Note 9 tempered glass review here. Hey guys, Samir from Canada Tech TV. Today I'm doing a little bit of a follow-up video for myself, and I'm going to show you a Note 9 white stone dome protector here. So, so that is listening through this mic. I'm using my Star mic here, but that is the actual onboard speakers that you were hearing there. So here's a little bit more audio here. Slide it down a little bit more. There was plenty of room in the bottom, so just check that out. Make sure I don't want to give you any wrong information. We'll go to my intro. Just to hear a little bit, kind of more like some hey guys, music. Here from Canada Tech TV, back with another review for you. So today we're taking a look at this, and I'm going to show you how my 15-inch Dell fits in here. So this bag is like a. All right, so you did hear that got a little bit blown out with the music on that intro there, but that again, that's using the onboard speakers. Um, and again, if you just plug in your own your own speaker through the aux jack and through the headphone port on there, it'll sound a lot better. And the volume's up a little bit on that that projector there. But I'd say if you don't wanna don't wanna really throw down more money for a speaker or something, I feel like most people have one nowadays anyway. But if you don't want to spend more money, you just want to use that onboard mic. It's not terrible or the onboard speakers, but they're not bad. I mean, you can definitely use them and stuff like that. But to combat the fan and to just have better sound quality, it's very easy to just use an aux cable and hook it up to either like your stereo system at home, like a, another speaker you've got, or whatever. So you can kind of see here though, like what you're dealing with quality wise. If I zoom in there, looks looks pretty decent. You can tell, you know, there's a little bit of muddiness there of some of the pixels and stuff, but it looks pretty darn sharp and especially sitting further away and being able to blow this up, um, it looks pretty darn good in my opinion. And I'll show you real quick just to, so you can see and get a feel for the size and stuff. I am uh, about 5'9". And you can see kind of here from, from my torso up kind of what this looks like. So I have it put on the wall here. Um, this is pretty darn big. It's pretty cool. It fills up this, this top part of the wall in my living room. So it is a pretty cool uh, budget, you know, home theater setup. I just got a tripod. I've got a speaker to hook it up to. Um, I got the little tray for the projector that I have it set up on. But yeah, it's pretty cool and I would really, really recommend it. So you can see here, I've got the kitchenette area is kind of open, the windows aren't covered. Uh, I do have in the actual living room area, the three big windows are closed, kind of with like the room darkening curtains. So there's a little bit of light coming into the room. But just to give you an idea of what the CL760 here is gonna look like, kind of during like daylight conditions, or say like if you're in a classroom and you've got a little bit of light on, this is kind of what it's going to look like. So you can see um, now that it's kind of daylight and stuff too, you can kind of get an idea of what the actual room looks like um, and how big this is up on the wall there. So I'll just show you real quick. Um, we'll go into kind of like an app here. So this is like a Fubo TV app. Uh, we'll go back out of here. Here is the main interface on the Roku. You can kind of see here what that looks like. We'll open up Netflix here. So here then is what it's going to look like looking at the Netflix interface. So you can see there's still pretty good clarity 
Uh, there's just definitely during some of the darker parts of shows and that it can be kind of hard to see then with this much light, but you could definitely use this during the day like this if you want to throw a football game on or something like that. All right, so there you have it, guys. There's a little bit of a review of the CL760 projector here. So over the past few years, I've actually been using a different projector from a different seller, but it was still that CL760 model, and I just never got to doing a review of it. So I've actually been using that for over the past year, and I would highly recommend it. So if you can afford a little bit more and go up to this model versus some of those other budget models, I would definitely recommend it. The picture quality here, getting that 1280 by 800 and getting more of like a true HD experience, it definitely is noticeable. And I think in a projector that that is a pretty good resolution because you're blowing it up on the wall, you get a really good size picture and the picture quality is also there then. Um, I, I can deal with not having like 1080p or 4K resolution for now because it still looks pretty good and it's a very huge picture and it kind of looks like you're at the movies. So that being said, if you are looking for more of a budget option, the Venkyo Leisure 3 is one that I would recommend. I have, I'll put a link right up here in the corner for that. I also have reviewed the UC46, uh, which is a little bit of an older projector, but that's another budget option under hundred bucks. And that one actually has some wireless connectivity too, so that's pretty cool. So um, that's a video that blew up on my channel I really didn't expect when I first started out. So I'll also put that one right up here right now. But I do have a projector playlist. If you want to check that out, it'll be right down here below in the description as well. But thanks for watching with me, guys. If you like this kind of content, like I said, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down there below. Also, if this video was helpful at all, I'd appreciate you to hit that like button down there. But let me know down there in the comments what you think if you would get this projector, if you've had any home projectors at home. But this one will be down there below in the description so you can check it out there. But thank you guys for spending your time with me here today. And you guys take care.